Our French Bulldog recovered from suspected IVDD in less than one week without medication. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how we handled the situation. Before we start, we would like to say that this video does not replace professional veterinary advice. Is this a seizure? Mega, shh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Hey, Mika, Mika. My name is Larry and this is my partner, Charlie, and we are the founders of Podega, the first holistic pet health store in the Middle East. The way that we handled this emergency situation with our Frenchie is actually based on our experience with working with so many holistic vets all around the world and helping thousands of pets and their pet parents go through similar situations. So this is why we felt very confident in how to react and what to do right away. So this is Milka after one month. I mean, she's been like this for already two weeks since we've let her move around again. But now she's so much more active. Huh? So the topics that we are going to be discussing is going to be veterinary advice, supplements and homeopathy, red light therapy, bed rest, physiotherapy, and laser therapy. All right, so first let's talk about what happened with our Frenchie. So there was a situation where she was playing with another dog and something must have happened. And then we actually didn't realize that something happened until way later because Milka just went to her bed and didn't get up all day. Which is not necessarily unnormal. So for six hours, she was in bed until we noticed that something was wrong. And the only time we knew something was wrong was when we were go getting ready to go outside and we were like, hey, potty break, and she didn't get up. And then I picked her up and she just let out the loudest scream. It was the most terrifying scream. Yeah. Um, like it, it was so loud, so high pitched that it's it still haunts me as I think about it right now. Like the amount of like scream and clear pain that she was in. And as we put her down on the floor, she actually started shaking on her whole body. So it was so incredibly scary. This has never happened before. So once she started shaking, we actually immediately pulled out our phone and started recording it because we know that once we go to the vet, having video footage of what we're describing is just gonna be so much more helpful. So the second thing we immediately did when she started checking was we got our natural first aid kit and gave her a lot of remedies that will help with this situation. And we're gonna tell you exactly what we gave her. So we immediately gave her number one, your go-to by Adored Beast. This is a first aid homeopathic remedy for any type of first aid situation. So we gave her that. And then we also gave her Jump for Joints by Adored Beast because it helps with pain as well and she was visibly in pain. We also gave her Inflip Potion and Herbaprin by Glacier Peak. And the reason why we gave her also these supplements is because we were worried that something was very wrong with her and we just wanted to t try to take um, many different angles when it comes to reducing inflammation in the body and since these are all natural, they can actually all be used together. So it's just like building out a more um, multifaceted approach. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Take, it was taking a multifaceted approach with her inflammation. So she was like that, just standing and shaking and then trying to lay down, still shaking. She was like that for about 10 minutes. And then we decided to bring her downstairs to the garden. Uh, because maybe it's a bit more comfortable for her there. Uh, yeah, we literally put her in the garden and, um, you know, helped her lay down, uh, helped her calm down. And after about 15 minutes, her uh, shaking actually stopped. So that was a really good first sign. But still, you can see that she was visibly very uncomfortable. Like she wasn't she was taking a very long time to lay down and get back up. Once we all started calming down a little bit, we actually uh, started noting down exactly what happened as well. So we literally wrote down in our notes on our phone, time, what symptoms she was showing, how long she was shaking for, and then, um, yeah, 
everything that happened basically on that day. So now on the timeline, we're like at 20 minutes after the scream. So we actually just put down a bunch of pillows outside in the garden and we just sat down and monitored her and just watched her like for an hour, right? Before yeah. we went anywhere. Yeah. And if you have a Frenchie and you hear that scream, you immediately get scared that something happened with her spine, right? So we didn't want to walk her or anything like that. So we just, we picked her up, we carried her to a place where we know she might poop or pee and we just let her be there. We mm. didn't put on a leash or a collar or a harness Honest. and nothing. She peed only. But it was, it was definitely a struggle for her to pee. So we decided to actually not take her on any walks that evening because she already pooped in the morning. So we just said, okay, we just really want her to be in bed rest and not move. So a few hours later, after monitoring her, when it came time for her to eat, we wanted to focus on supplements that would help to improve joint health, muscle health, and neurological health because these are all of the areas of health that can be linked to IVDD so we wanted to just support these different areas of health. So right now we're going to be preparing Milka's food which is raw dog food with her supplements to reduce inflammation and to help her recover quicker. So I'm going to show you here. Here's her raw dog food and we consider this to be the best diet to help reduce inflammation. And if you want to know more about a raw food diet, make sure you click the video above to learn why we feed raw. And here we're going to enhance that diet with functional supplements to reduce inflammation and help her relax at the same time. And what we used in her meals were um, Healthy Calm by Kin and Kind, which helps to reduce stress because we just wanted her to be calm. But then we also use the jump for joints that Charlie mentioned earlier. So we use that again in her meal. And then we use golden paste by Kin and Kind. So the, the golden paste hip and joint powder. And again, we used Herbaprin and Infla Potion by Glacier Peak to again help reduce inflammation drastically naturally. And then also we used elk antler powder by farmhounds. And this one is really, 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 really great because it aids in rapid recovery. So if you don't know about elk antler powder, this is actually commonly used by athletes and it helps to, uh, just with the recovery time, it's, it's rapid. So we were like, okay, that's going in every uh, daily meal that she gets. So that really, I believe that contributed majorly to the, her recovery. We actually used all of these supplements for at least two weeks after the incident. And many of these supplements we're using anyway on a daily basis still until today. So um, the jump for joints we're still using on a daily basis. The elk antler powder we're still using on a daily basis and the calm actually as well. One more that we actually used was Gut Soothe by Dorit Beast, which yeah. is a pre and probiotic with anti-inflammatory herbs. And I think this is also important. Yeah, it, it just aids in reducing inflammation. That's the reason why we gave that to her yeah. and to support her immune system. So just to recap, the natural supplements that we immediately started using was jump for joints four times a day, your go-to four times a day, Herbaprin and Infla Potion two times a day, Elk Antler once a day and Gut Soothe once a day. Those are the products that we started using immediately and that have massively helped in her recovery. So we actually made a vet appointment for her, but we couldn't get an appointment until the third day after her uh, incident happened. So on the second day after the incident, she started shaking again in the morning. And again, it was really a horrific experience, obviously for us. Um, again, we start, we gave her the, all the supplements right away. And after about 15 minutes, she stopped shaking again. So about an hour after she stopped shaking, we actually, I, I picked her up and I carried her to an area where I knew she would be likely to pee and poop. And 
uh, that's exactly what she did after maybe a few minutes. We did not put any harness on her, no leash, literally just picking her up, naked dog on the floor and um, yeah, just making her poop in that area where we know she, she would poop. And the interesting thing actually was that she started walking on her own. Like yeah. up until that moment, she was still very stiff. This was about an hour after we gave her all the supplements. She wanted to start walking. So she actually took herself on a little walk. Yeah. And we tried to not have her walk that much, but there was clearly less pain visible that that moment already yeah she definitely wanted to do more but we were like no we have to slow you down because we don't want you to get injured again and then that next injury potentially be much worse so on the third day we actually were able to visit the vet and our vet, we showed our vet the videos we showed her the notes that we took and she was actually incredibly surprised about how well Milka had already recovered until then yeah. because she watched the video and was very surprised of how much Milka was actually shaking but then when Milka when she was seeing Milka Milka was already walking she was already trying to jump up on you know to greet the vet and what she's the dog that she's seeing right in front of her right now she just can't believe that this is the same dog that was in this video two days ago so after we showed her the notes and especially when we told her about that jump uh the night before our vet immediately said that she's suspecting a herniated disc and luckily it is non-surgical so we didn't have to do a surgery or anything like that because it it wasn't that bad now personally we have been on a joint health journey with our Frenchie for at least four years. So ever since she was like three years old, we started to incorporate natural joint health products into her diet. We've been using jump for joints ever since she was like three years old. So also she's been raw fed since she was one year old. So I personally believe that everything we did the last years to help enhance her joint health has made her so resilient that in this moment when, when this injury happened, it didn't turn, it wasn't as bad as it would have been if we didn't do any joint health protocol with her before, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So personally, like I'm very grateful that we did all of the things we did the last four years because it has helped her tremendously. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we didn't have to do a surgery. Yeah. So we have a really great relationship with our vet. And although she's not holistic, she really supports us in treating our dog naturally whenever it's possible. So she actually said that you can definitely try and uh, do this the natural route for the next three, four days and see how it goes. You know, she didn't, she actually didn't give us any medication or anything because uh, we have the natural products to support, which we mentioned earlier already. And we're actually also gonna put them down below for you in the comment section. So I just wanna say that if your vet prescribes medication, that you can also use the natural supplements that we have recommended because they can be used in combination with the medication that you may have been given. One thing our vet really recommended for us to do was physiotherapy. So we went straight ahead and got in touch with a physiotherapist here in the UAE and we had our first session with her like about five days after the incident happened. In our first session she did a little exercise and then we immediately went into laser therapy which helps to reduce pain and inflammation in the body. Now we might even see a little twitch of the muscles in her back, you might see, I've seen it once or twice. There. Mm, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. After that session, then we started looking into more ways and how we can help reduce inflammation in the body and pain in the body. So then we actually ended up getting a red light therapy device in which we incorporated into her recovery plan. So the red light therapy device that we got is actually from Photonic, which is a really great red light therapy device and it can be used on cats, dogs, and even horses. So we started actually using this once a day for 10 minutes a day and 
I do believe that this also aided in her speedy recovery and helping to reduce inflammation and getting her back on her feet and, and running again eventually. So we even got a discount code which you can use on the Photonic red light therapy device and you can get the coupon code in the description section, plug that in at the checkout and boom, you have yourself a savings. So after we started um, incorporating all of these different elements to help with her recovery, we also did make some adjustments to the supplements that she was getting to really focus on the muscles, joint health, and reducing inflammation in the body. Okay, next up we have from Adored Beast Potency, and this is algae oil, which has super high concentrations of EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids. And this is really, 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 really great because omega-3 is also widely known to help reduce inflammation in the body. So this contains probably one of the highest amounts of EPA and DHA on the market. So we're adding this to her diet to help again, reduce inflammation and support joint health. So tonight we're going to be adding bone broth and golden paste to her diet because these two are also really, really great in supporting joint health as well. So that's definitely going in later. So let's talk a little bit more about the bed rest. So we actually did not take Milka on any walks for two weeks. Um, which was really weird because <laughs> yeah. like if you have a dog you know like you're so used to going on walks every day and we kind of we had so much free time all of a sudden <laughs> but um yeah we didn't take her on any walks we literally just carried her to that patch of grass she peed and pooped and then we carried her back for two weeks strict bed rest and also we always barricaded off the couch and the bed and anything where she can jump on or off to make sure that there's no jumping. After two weeks, we started going on very short walks and slowly, gradually increasing them. We did physiotherapy once a week for five weeks. And then on the other days, we just did the stretches at home and the exercises at home. And then also we did the red light therapy every day. So it's been seven weeks since this has happened and Milka has been amazing. She's running, she's having zoomies, and it just makes me so happy to see that she has so much energy, but it also makes me put into perspective how delicate they, this breed really is and how cautious we need to be with them jumping. So now we definitely have made changes. She is not allowed to jump on the couches. She's not allowed to run up and down the stairs. So we put more barricades in place to make sure that, you know, she doesn't, you know, run straight down the stairs. We're still to this day giving her her joint health supplements, the jump for joints, the potency algae oil, the elk antler powder. So we're really t continuing with our proactive approach to joint health and continuing with a proactive approach to help prevent IVDD in the future. If you have a French Bulldog or any other breed that is prone to IVDD, I highly recommend that you take a proactive approach as early as possible. Honestly, if I could do it over again, I would start as a puppy. Like, I wouldn't wait until our dog is three years old. So yeah. The sooner you can start, the better. So if you have found this video informative and you are looking for more natural ways to improve the health of your animal, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we have these videos just for you that you can binge watch all day long. And also let us know in the comments any questions you might have about our journey. We just shared what worked for us today but we're more than happy to provide you with tips on what you could do with your individual dog. Thank you so much for watching guys. We hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>